Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Kakudash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, every well, peace and blessings and salutations to the whole full elect. True name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who does royally cause God, the true name of his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah, who does royally cause Jesus. Uh, Bahashem is in the name, and Rakakudash is through the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother you want to thank, coming from the great millstone, Saul, great millstone, West Palm Camp, back again with another lesson. And I'm praying this lesson is edifying, all right? Now, um, in this lesson, just want to go over uh, that perfect covenant, man, which is going to be that second covenant. And I want to begin at the book of Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, all right? And just something that was, you know, that sparked through the spirit as I was listening to um, the beloved brothers, um, you know, from the camp, uh, beloved brother Yeshia, Gabar, and Ba'ar. Okay, so we understand with that first covenant that the Heavenly Father made with us, we couldn't keep it, even though the ways of the Heavenly Father are perfect, but we couldn't keep that covenant. Now, through Yahweh Shah being that, that, that mediator between us and the Heavenly Father, and we have a second chance at um, the second covenant where it speaks about how our uh, the law, statutes, and the commandments are going to be in our inward, man. Okay, and we understand that it says in the book of Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter says, We suffer for our sins. All right, it says, Your sins have separated uh, you from your power. Okay, roughly paraphrasing those scriptures, but we understand us being in these weak bodies. Okay, we cannot keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. We understand that's the reason uh, that we're in this condition now. All right, we're in this hell. Okay, but with that second covenant, Hey, we're going to be perfect, meaning that we're never going to be able to go off again because it's going to be inside of us, man. Hey, and that's something beautiful. All right. Understanding that the reason why we're in this captivity, uh, reason why we're in this condition is because, again, we us suffering because of our sins, us suffering because of the iniquities, all right? our iniquities, iniquities going back into sin. OK, so this is Jeremiah chapter 31. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse uh, 31, and it says, Behold, the days come, said the heavenly Father, Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, meaning the south, okay, the, the northern and the southern kingdom, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that, in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, said the Lord. You see, so we broke that covenant, man. And it's really the spirit. Because I was reading the book of um Um I was reading the The prayer of Azariah. Okay, and it goes into all the acts, all well, not the acts, but all the wonderful things that a Yahweh Shah has done for the nation of Israel, man. Okay, and let me see. I may not um, read all of it because hey, you got to really read this chapter to understand, man. Okay, all the things that a hey, Yahweh Shah has done for the nation of Israel, man. Let me see. Uh, Let's see. I'm going to just grab this quick. This is the prayer of Azariah, chapter 1, verse 5. And it says, In all things that thou hast brought upon us and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, thou hast executed true judgment. For thy, for according to truth and judgment didst thou bring all these things upon us because of our sins. For we have sinned and committed iniquity departing from thee. In all things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments nor kept them neither done neither done as thou has commanded us that it may that it might go well with us you see so again we understand us being in this condition is because of us man not being able to uphold or not being able to keep that first covenant man all right and it says um verse 8 or 4 all that thou has brought upon us and everything thou has done to us Thou hast done, thou hast done in true judgment, and thou hast this deliver us in the hands of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of the Most High, and to an unjust king, and the most wicked in all the world. Okay, 
And it says, and now we cannot open our mouths. We are become a shame and reproach to thy servants and to them that worship thee. Yet deliver us not up holy for thy name's sake, neither disannul thy covenant. Right. And it says, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. Thou beloved Abraham's sake for thy servants, Isaac's sake and for thy holy Israel's sake to whom thou has promised. Lock you. I'm reading it again, verse 13. To whom thou hast spoken and promised that thou wouldest multiply their seeds as the stars of heaven and as the sand that lieth upon the seashore. All right. So basically, oh, let me keep, let me read verse, uh, verse 14. And it says, For we, O Lord, are become less than any nation and be kept under this day and all the world because of our sins. You see, so again, Yahweh Shemal Shah is not going to forsake that promise he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. But nevertheless, due to our sins, due to our iniquities, okay, we're in this current position, all right? Us being under all these nations, man, like the uh, 14 verses, uh, oh Lord, we are become less than any any nation, okay? And that's because hey, we couldn't uphold the law, statutes, commandments of the heavenly father and his son, okay? But with that second covenant, hey, we're going to be perfect. Why? Because hey, those commandments are going to be on our inward part, man, all right? And the ways of the heavenly father are perfect, man, but us being in these bodies, us being in these chains of darkness, and we aren't able to uphold them. All right, now let's go back to the book of Jeremiah, the 31st chapter. Jeremiah chapter 31, um, verse 33, and it says, But this shall be the covenant that I will make a, that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. Their hearts going back to what? Your heart going back into your mind. And they and will be their power, and they, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord Yahweh, for they, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said the Lord. For I, for I will forgive their iniquities and I will remember their sin no more. OK, so this is going to happen when we are in the kingdom. All right. Or a before then it says in Roman, not Romans, first Corinthians, the 15th chapter, it says before the twinkling of an eye, man, we shall be changed. What are we going to be changed? We're going to be changed into them new bodies as it speaks about in Philippians, the third chapter, man, a like your shah's glorious body where the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be in our inward part, man. Okay. So we're not, hey, we're not going to have to be like here in Babylon, the great America telling our people you know that hey, you're an Israelite, man. It says they shall all know me, man. Okay, so hey, not only that, but hey, many more things, man. It says we shall never go into captivity again, man. Hey, all the former things being passed away, okay, crying, uh, sorrow, all these things, man, are going to be passed away in the kingdom, and that comes with that second covenant. All right. And that's just things to hope for, man. That's just things when you really think about it, you know, us being in these feeble, these weak bodies, man. OK, as many things we can't do. All right. And we we, we can't even serve you. How about Shah to the best of our abilities? Because, again, we in these weak bodies, man. All right. But there's going to be there's going to come a time where hey, we're going to get those new bodies, man. All right. Those incorruptible bodies. OK, and I can't wait, brothers. You know, Lord willing, we are part of that glorious number to receive it on the first go around. Right. So look, you forgive me for that. This is the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter eight. I'm starting verse seven. And it says, for if that first covenant has been faultless, then shall no place have been sought for the second for finding fault with them. He said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, then will then will I make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. OK, so again, it says finding fault with them. So it was not of the heavenly father because his ways are perfect, but it was with us. Right. Verse nine, it says not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they're because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not said the Lord for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those after those days said the Lord I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people and they shall not teach a man 
and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest and i will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will i remember no more man so meaning that all the sins are going to be wiped away a clean slate okay a clean slate of perfection and this is what's coming to the whole nation of israel star and foremost with the elect under yahweh shah okay so you know through the spirit and prayer about shema shah i know this lesson wasn't too long but i just wanted to bring this up man you know that second covenant man a perfect covenant and you know I know every brother's, you know, brothers, you know, I know brothers waiting on it too, man. You know, but I just want to bring this lesson out through the spirit, Lord willing, those edifying to the next time, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone at Ruel. Peace and blessing to the elect. Till next time, Shalom, Baba Baba, call me out, Shalom.